here on the left. Me? That's right. That's you! <laughs> yeah. you! This guy, everybody! Yes. Okay. Uh, so, I know that you've worked extensively with uh, Matt Chapman, the guy who, he voiced the Amanda, who wrote some episodes, and I grew up with Homestar Runner, so I'm not sure you're aware of that. Oh, I'm glad some other people recognize it. Oh, thank you. Um, how much would you say his, his style, his or Homestar, how has influenced you? Right, well, um, so just to, to summarize, so, I mean, it's funny, because when I, I grew up with Homestar Runner and Strong Bad Emails as well. Yes. Who, who here re 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 watches, remembers those emails, Strong Bad Emails, Homestar Runner? <laughs> Check out the website, funniest website on the internet. Everyone else is missing out, seriously. Go there, experience hours of delight. Um, so, I mean, I was always the fan of this website, HomestarRunner.com, where this fellow Strong Bad, who was kind of this little midget dude in a wrestling mask uh, with, uh, with, with boxing gloves, would answer people's emails and just make fun of them. Um, and it would be amazing, um, and uh, I was always a huge fan. Um, and uh, when we found out that Matt Chapman and his brother were in town um, pitching stuff to Disney, I just like I just ran, you know, as, as fast as I can to the Florida meet. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm such a big fan! Can you do the strong bad voice for me? I was as annoying as possible. I was like, dipper with the author. I was just like, can I ask you a couple thousand questions about Homestar Runner? Please be my friend. Um, and uh, eventually he ended up working for us in the writer's room. And uh, this guy, he's done a number of voices on the show. He's the voice of both the Handwich and Mermando, which shows you this guy's range. Um, he's several of several times. Um, he is many, many random incidental guys. Um, and I, mean, I would say that he was an awesome writer, great to work with. A lot of great jokes in the show come from him. Um, I'd say uh, he had a lot of influence on, of course, the episodes that he shares a co-writing credit with me. Um, he came up with the name of the band several times. He, uh, I think, a lot of great jokes. And, and Dreamscapers, those two weird neon dudes, like, <laughs> he named them Kraz and Zyler, and he decided that they would go, Arm Throne! And they would ride their arms. Um, like, uh, he was an awesome dude, and we were so, so fortunate to have him as a writer on season one and season two. And uh, every now and then I'll still call him up and just be like, It's been a long day, man. Can you do the strong bad voice for me? And he's like, Chuck it, chuck it, chuck it, my email's okay, I'm going to sleep now. Like, <laughs> he's a really cool dude. If you ever meet him at a convention, tack tackle hug him, say it came from me, he'll know. He'll be like, This feels like a first tackle hug. I got two hands up right.